Okay, so we created our palette, and I like to keep that handy so I could see when I put down the colors what they actually are, um, you know, how it's going to look. So let's get started. I usually start with the darker first, and um, I like to put those down, and let's get that brown. Um, we got a nice rust. Caramel. Okay, so I just put it down. You don't have to do it any certain way. What I do like to do though, I do like to dry it. this okay yeah okay so we got your brown um, let's add a little bit of rosewood and again it doesn't matter where you put it lighten that up a little bit and let's put some sand on. Okay. Now we can start mixing the colors and just a little bit of alcohol. And this is 91%. You want to let it sit and, and grab some of that color. I like to keep the dark lines. I think it adds a lot of depth. All right, and let's get this right here. So here I'm using Revlon, it's a brush hair dryer, so it blows out cool air, um, at least that's one of the settings, um, which I like, obviously working with aluminum, it's not heating it up where I can't touch it, so it's, it's good. So notice I didn't put the alcohol on every single um, piece of dried ink here, only because I don't want, I want this to mingle with other, other colors that I put down. So if you just, you know, blow the whole thing out, then you deal with 
just a little bit of color with your when you mix in the other color, other colors. So um, I don't have anything in mind right now as too far as what this is going to look like. I know I want it to go straight across. I like the negative space, so I'm going to try and keep it in that composition. And uh, yeah, let's see what let's see what happens. So I do want to put some purple and some blue. And I think those, like I said, those just look beautiful together. Uh, let's do some blue right here. Let's get some purple. And let's get purple there. Okay. Let's try that. I'm going to be careful. I don't want this mixing too much. I want to do that myself. Okay. So let's add a little bit of alcohol. get better control obviously the lower the lower the air I like that let's do that over here So obviously with the blue and this, I want to call it mustard looking color, you know, it mixes to a kind of a green. It's really pretty. That's what I love when you mix in these alcohol inks together, the colors that they um, they end up being. It's, it's just so pretty. All right, so let's get a little bit of this going. And you guys, you'll, you'll notice I never put the alcohol, or I shouldn't say never, I don't put the alcohol on top of the ink. Um, because as you know, when you drop the alcohol down, it then disperses and it pushes it around to the outside. Um, in order to mix this better, I like to get it on the sides or wherever and push it in myself. Um, just, again, it's it's for me, my personal way of doing it. Because then you just end up, it, it just doesn't look right. Unless that's the look you're going for. So let me push that back in. Let's work with some more colors here. Alright, so I think I want to get some some of the bright pink on here and we did choose the gumball so let's put a little bit here and a little bit here and this is going to create a pretty purple okay Push that in, grab some of that mustard yellow. I, I forget the name of it, so I'm calling it mustard. So, okay. All right. So far, I'm liking it. Um, I like to take a step back and see where it needs more color. 
Um, we do have that green. I definitely want to throw that in here, probably over here, and maybe a little bit over here. And <clears throat> again, notice how the middle is not um, really blended too well. I like to hold that for the, the metallic towards the end. Let's throw some green down. Okay. Okay, let's dry that. You know what? I wouldn't mind just adding just a little bit right there. I just want a line of it right there. Nothing, nothing too major. Okay, let's think about adding some more color. And let's think where... All right, so first of all, I want to get this, I want to just get that a little bit up. Does that make sense? A little bit up? I want to move it up. Um, I don't like that it's foggy or, you know, spread thin right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to move that up a little bit. Also keep in mind that with this substrate being aluminum, Yupo is going to act different. Um, Nara paper is going to act different. Every substrate reacts differently to the inks. So you kind of have to go with the flow. Oh, I like, I like how, if you could only see this from this side, but um, let's do that to this one too. Let's bring that up. I want to add some more darker brown. I need the contrast. So let's see what we have. I don't think that brown is dark enough for what I'm thinking. Okay. So let's see what we have. Let me get my browns out. And my palette, oh, we've got Espresso. This looks pretty dark, and it does. Actually, this might be just the, just the color we need. Okay. Let me put that back. <clears throat> oh, well, you know what? Now that I'm seeing it spread out, it does have that. Weird greenish. I don't want that right now. Nope. Not, not for this. Um, yeah, we do have pinata, and this one is Havana brown. Oh, I like that one. That might be it right there. Of course, I have this, which is sienna. This looks more rust. Yeah. Nope. All right, I like the Havana Brown, but let's take a look at uh, Copic. Copic, we have Cashew, which I've used. Mm, you know what? So I'm thinking the Pinata is too much like the other browns, if you could see that, but I'm liking this. Um, so it's the Copic Cashew. 
think I'm going to go with. No, no thinking involved. I, this is exactly which one I'm going to go with. So, let's give this a try. And, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the middle. This is where I want a lot of the You want to dry it. So this is going to mix well with, with the other brown tones that we have there. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of alcohol. Right? I don't want that spreading too much. And I want to try and keep that green. So I could bring the other colors in. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm liking that already. Move that. Alright. Yep, much, much better. And it is, it's creating the depth that I crave in each one of my paintings, I guess. All right, so. All right, let's add a little bit here. I may want to add more blue once I get this. See, so I'm trying to create the dark, you know, for, your eye's going to go there right at the very beginning when you look at this. And that's kind of where I'm, I'm going to direct your eye. Okay. All right. So I'm liking that. And this one, I kind of want to bring it more in this way. Okay. Let's get a little bit more power. Let's push that. Nice. So it's mingling with that cranberry really well. I like that. <laughs> Alright, and then let's get just a little bit. Let's extend the alcohol out a little bit so it knows where to go. I love the purple with it too. And actually, we will be adding a little bit more to that. It's pretty. It makes that very dark masculine color a little bit more feminine. All right, I'm liking where that's going. Let's bring. All right, so I do want to add more blue because I think the blue is really going to really makes it pop, especially with the purple. Let's do that, but I want to put some dark purple in here too, and we decided to go with indigo, and I kind of want to go right here with that. Let's put a little bit there. So again, I like to dry the ink because number one I have better control over where it's going and number two is I it's more concentrated so if you just drop a layer a thing of ink and then some alcohol it mixes too much it becomes unless that's a look you want it's not what I want I want to be able to control how translucent it will be um, so let's see just a little bit of alcohol again. Okay, so with this, what I want to do 
because that is so dark and deep and just gorgeous. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to that. Okay, yep. Love it! Let's get a little bit here. Let's push that up. Maybe just a little bit more. Alright, that didn't blend all too well, so let's get that blend it a little bit really good. Okay. It's alright, yeah. I'm liking that. And just a little bit here. Yeah, that's what I get for putting my ink on the actual painting. Yeah, I don't like that. Now I'm going to put some more blue on there. And some alcohol. Because that did not... There we go. That's better. Let's push that out. I like that. Again, I, I don't, I like to blend all the colors together. I think it makes the painting more cohesive than just putting a layer of color down and then right next to it another layer. And, I mean, that's the beauty of the alcohol inks, right? You get to create all these other colors that probably don't even have names. Okay, maybe they do, but I like to think they don't. Okay. And this, I'll just get those three dots, mix those in. No big deal. Now that might work into the painting later. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so. Now's the time. Let's take a step back and... see what we like and what we don't like. I want more purple here. So let's add, and that's the purple twilight. I want it more, more purple. And actually I'm going to add a little bit of the indigo too. Is it indigo? Oh no, that's, that's this is the indigo. All right, and just a little bit of alcohol around. Push it in. And then bring it out. All right. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of brass to this painting. Let's see. Now, I like to just put it just in different areas. 
without totally ruining what we built up. And let's just drop a little bit of alcohol on it. And that will help disperse it. Okay. And you kind of want to keep it in its own little area. This is pretty much dried up already. This. Okay, let's bring that down. Okay, like that. Let's put that down. Alright. So with that. We did loosen up some of the areas in here, but I still wanted that dark vein kind of running through it. So this is not really um, mixed very well. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. So I know with the metallic, and especially the brass, because it does get clumpy, you want to work on it really quick. So here, I'm actually throwing, and a little goes a long way. Spread it out. There we go. Nice. That's good. All right. I like that. So let's do a little bit of this. I'm going to drop some alcohol, a little bit of brass, and I'm going to push it in. I'm going to back out. Come on. Great. I'm going to add a little bit of the, um, what is this, sandal. And I'm not mixing with alcohol because I want that color to be really, really bright. And I'm pushing it into the brass. Okay. So now, with this, I'm going to bring that together a little bit more. Yeah, I'm liking it. So this I'm going to end up getting rid of. I can see it now. I might not even be... bringing it down there as, as far. So that definitely needs to go. Okay. And what I'd like to do is, is soften this up, bring it out a little bit more to make it um, very wispy. But I'm wondering if it needs, you know, me, I, I just really want the color to scream. But I, I think I'm liking this, actually. 
I do want to add more cranberry to this part. I really want that. I want that to be dark right there. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. I might want a little bit right here. Just a little. All right. I'm liking the little, little bits of green. All right, so let's add. All right, so let's do this. We are going to add I have alcohol mixed with the brass already, which works out really well. Okay, so I have it. And uh, another tip, this is great for um, getting the brass to disperse really, really easily. Um, and I like to use this on my edges, just like that. And it adds just that little bit of brass that you need. Let's bring that in a little bit more. So you want to build up, or at least I do, that vein of um, brass. All right, we can add a little bit right here. Bring it into that purple and blue. Good. Let's do that right here too. A little bit more. Very pretty. Okay. All right, so we will definitely have to do it here. So you get these little, little veins of the brass. It's just so pretty that when the light hits it, it's just, it's different. It makes all the difference in the world, I think. Yeah, okay. And I'll have to show you. You can't see it, I'm sure, with the video, but when the sun hits it, it's just looking really cool. So this. Right. 
Now with alcohol ink, it's very fast. You have to do everything fast. It all just dries or evaporates. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's do this side. So I'm probably going to want to extend this out, I think, a little bit more. It looks very unfinished to me. So I'm going to work on what other colors we want. And this time I'll just blend it right with the alcohol and the, and the brass mixture. I definitely want to get some pink, more pink. We'll probably put it on this side. And... I'd like to extend the green just a little bit too, but we definitely want to get the browns in there as well. So let's do that. Let's get, let's put the green first, the pistachio. Let's dry that. Because the green and the, the browns, not the really dark brown, but that will blend very well together. And then we could add a little bit of colors on each side, if we want to. We'll see how it looks. So with this one, we're going to do the caramel. Okay, we'll put that there and right here. And I don't want to mix that too much with the green right now. Okay. All right, yeah. And actually, when I'm looking at it, I do want to put some blue here. And maybe just a spot right there. Okay. So we'll use the mixture. Down the bottom. I like that dark right there. I, I'm going to try and keep that. Push that up there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And let's get this here. I do want to blend that green a little bit more. So as you're doing this, obviously you can see what other colors that you could bring into it. Um, with this, I think I'd like to get some of that pink there. Because again, I love bright paintings. So let's do this. Okay, and let's do a little bit right there. You know what I do want though is I do want that dark brown. What do we use? We use the Copic. Um, just a little bit. Just a little. Go, go, go. Go, go, go gadget. Okay. And this is just very little alcohol because I, again, I, I definitely do want that. Of course, I want to bring this up a little bit. Oh. Okay, let's try that. 
There we go. Alright, yeah. Making it a little bit better. Uh, you know, that's enough of the brass. Let's put just a little bit of alcohol there. So if you grab some of the brass, obviously, from the surrounding area, it seems not so much. I do want this mixed a little bit more brown. So let's bring that over. Bring it in. There we go. Much better. Lighten that up just a little bit. Alright, I like that. Let's do the same for this side. Just a little bit on this side. Too much of it went up there. Alright. Put that brown. mix this together at the end here. I think it just looks more cohesive. It's like closure. <laughs> I like it. Now, I don't know if this is not enough. Maybe I should make it a little bit wider. I'm going to sit on it. Let's do this side, and then I'm going to wait and see if I do want to make it a little bit wider. So the colors here, I definitely want to... Hmm, I'd like the... I, I think we should still get the browns, but not the dark, dark one. Let's do... No, let's do the... Is this rust? Let's see what this is going to look like. Yep, okay. So I like the rust and I love this sandal. All right. Yeah, I do like that. Actually, I want more of the rust. I'm going to push the sandal in more. And just a little bit more of rust. Maybe like the rust. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to want to blend that out as much. Alright, let's bring our handy dandy mixture. Let's push it in. Bring it out, push it in. Okay. Put a little bit of alcohol. There we go. There it is. I like that a lot. And so 
Let's think what colors do we want on this side. Mm, I think we're going to need more cranberry. I just love cranberry. And actually, we might not even be mixing this in too much. Mm. Oh, a little bit more of this yellow. And I did not let this dry because I I want the full. Let's push this back. There we go. See, so I wanted a bead of yellow. I like that. Right there. Alright, let's add a little bit of pistachio up here. Alright, that looks good. I'm actually mix that with that. Okay, that's done. Um, do you want to add... You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of the dark brown. Just right there. That might even be a little bit too much. Alright. Let's see. You know, this way it just it makes your eye go all the way around, not just in one area. Let's add a fun mixture again. And I'm going to mix it in with the cranberry. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's do this. I want this blue and the green. Let's add just a little bit of blue. Okay, a lot of it. Okay. We want the mixture. Let that run right over it. Okay. And I definitely want a little bit of the purple in the twilight. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yep. Like it. So let's just grab a little bit of alcohol. Let's extend this out. A little bit more wispy. So let's grab the color, bring it out, bring it, push it back in, grab more color, push it out. Okay. Yeah, okay. Actually want it a little bit more wispy. Softer, wispy, however you want to say it. And all it is, is you're pushing the alcohol onto the color for it to grab a little bit, bring it back out. It's as simple as that. And it's lighter, obviously. It's more diluted, right? Okay, I want that bead. So I'm going to do the same up here. 
So bring it in, grab the paint, bring it out, bring it back in, grab the paint, and mix. that so like I said oh you know what I want to I want to let me soften this up a little bit here I may come back to it. You know, when in doubt, think about it. I'll come back and look at it again with new eyes. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah. I am liking that so far. It's very pretty. All right, let me show you up close and personal. You know, I'm trying to find the best way to show this to you because it's hard. It's, I mean, it's aluminum, right? So whenever there's a light source, it's going to, that's what's really going to show. Let's see if this, I don't know if this is doing it justice. I don't know if you guys could really see this. She it looks beautiful. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'll try taking it outside. And when the sun comes out. Yeah, you can't really tell, but it just, it looks beautiful. Take my word for it. All right, yeah, I'm going to take it outside. We'll see what it looks like when the sun comes out. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little bit.